Okay, so going off the last three games, uh, you guys haven't lost in three. Great performances, hardest stretch of games. What is the mindset in and around the team? Because you guys look like a totally different team, dynamically, off the pitch, in the in the workout room, on the training pitch. And I know a lot of that has to do with you, but I'm not at that question yet. Okay, yeah, no, I think uh, a lot of it has to do with being together. Uh, first and foremost, um, our pride and our ego got hurt a little bit. Uh, we were coming from obviously a lot, a lot of defeats and we wanted to turn, turn things around and we could do that. We knew we could do that if we started trusting each other and really being a group. And I think you, you've seen that even off the field. We're more together than ever and that translates on the field and thankfully we, we've been on a good run. I, I love how coy you are about this because everyone I speak to says that you're the glue to the team. You are from the English to the Spanish, you're that middleman that makes this team that togetherness. So talk to me a little bit about your role within the team and do you think that's changed since coming to Inter Miami? Yeah, I try to just use my experience. I've been in the league for a long time and thankfully I speak both English and Spanish pretty pretty good I would say. And, uh, Not I'm as good as me, bridge. but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm that bridge between the, I guess you could say, American guys and then the international and Latino guys. Um, I just try to use my experience and I gain the trust of my teammates and that helps me in, in being a leader and, and, like you said, gluing things together and building that, that bridge between both of them. Now, off the pitch, you're brilliant, but on the pitch, you're even more brilliant. I think one thing about you that fans have seen and obviously people in the league already knew this about you, but your willingness to battle in the midfield and whatever role called upon from Phil Neville, you do the job to a T. So has this always been something that you've been extremely good at or is this just a new role within coming to Inter Miami that if they need you at left back, if they need you at right back, I mean, center back, that you can play these roles? Yeah, I think in, in that terms, it's the first time that I've played somewhere other than in the middle, mm -hmm. which was new to me, but my mentality has always been the same, uh, whatever, the coach needs whatever the team needs more than anything I'm gonna try to do the best and I mean I just we're lucky enough to play this sport you know and we love it and it's our passion and what better way than to show it on on the field every single day at, in training and, and in games so if Phil was to ask you we need you to play net today would you step up and do it no no not goalie <laughs> I wouldn't play goalie though no. <laughs> goalkeeper um, excuse me to all the goalkeepers out there but there's if you're a goalkeeper, there's something a little bit off with you. That's interesting. It, we, th we think the exact same thing. It's the truth. Field though. players, you say goal, goalies are different. <laughs> uh, now, obviously, Phil Neville has brought in some tactical changes. Gone with three at the back, where it, on this big run of successful games, do you think that's helped balance the team a little bit more and bring someone like a Marsman in to really just calm the ship at the back? Absolutely. I think the change in in tactical and the formation with five in the back, three center backs gives us more stability, more security. And, and defending. We were giving up a lot of goals and now having that extra player back there gives us the opportunity to have a little bit more control without the ball and then a little bit of control with the ball on the build. Uh, we have an extra guy all the time and it's something that we've been focusing on and it's been working for us. So we, we want to keep growing and keep learning and keep improving on, on that so that we can keep getting results and now it's getting close to the end of the season and we need three points. So that's, those are the goals now. Every game will be a final for us. Do you think the playoffs are on the end of your, or on your guys' minds? You know, if you looked at the beginning of the season, playoffs weren't even there. And now you went on this hot streak and you were almost there. Do you think guys genuinely think you can make the playoffs? Yeah, absolutely. The goal is to be in the playoffs. We have two games in hand and if we can get those results, we're, we're right back in it, right, right in the fight to, to get in that seventh place. And, and who knows, maybe fight for even a higher, higher seat up, up the table. Okay, so what is worse, being in the MLS bubble or being at home with kids under the age of five? Because I know you have two, right? Right I have now? One. 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 One on the way, and correct? One on the way, okay. exactly, yeah. Uh, the bubble is pretty <laughs> bad, yeah. Oh, I feel like our kids would get along fabulous. Yeah, he has a lot of energy. It's two and a half, so. Wait till they hit three because then it's no to everything and it's like you can't get them in school quick enough. Okay, yeah, so I heard, I heard the terrible twos and then the threes. Yeah, but. terrible yeah. beep threes. Okay, let's get to some rapid fire. Are you ready on the hot seat? All right. Okay. Favorite thing about Miami? Uh, favorite thing about Miami? The beach. Yeah, no one said that yet. That is, yeah, I don't know why no one said yeah, that. Um, best restaurant? Best restaurant? Uh, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Cote? In design oh district. yeah it's amazing it's, yeah i think that's fairly how you new it. i think yeah it's fairly new it's yeah, hard it's to get really, into really really good i need your contact to get into really <laughs> um best dancer on the team pizarro has said himself no absolutely not no <gasps> no no uh best dancer you know christian macun is a great dancer really yeah, yeah he dances a lot of different 
music. Whatever you put, he has good coordination, good rhythm. And I heard Gregory is a terrible dancer. Is that true? Gregory, he tries. He tries. That's a no. <laughs> He's a terrible dancer. Okay, we need to get him to the dance class. Um, so that was my next one. Worst dancer on the team. Worst dancer? Mm-hmm. Um, I couldn't imagine... I just can't see Ryan moving that well. That, <laughs> that's is the it, second time someone has called is out it, Ryan. Is it really? Yeah, it is. It yeah, really he is. doesn't seem like the type of guy that likes to dance. <laughs> Funniest teammate. Sorry, Ryan. No, you don't. You don't have to apologize. Oh, okay, here. This okay. is a safe zone. He won't see this. Funniest guy on the team. Ooh. Um, Edison Ascona. Mm-hmm. Really? Funny guy, a young kid. He's always bringing a lot of energy and he's always being funny, laughing here and there and trying to tell jokes, trying to make a joke about everything. So I love that. Okay, so if you had to have a four-a-side team, so let's do five-a-side, including yourself. Who would the other four players on your team be? We need a defender. I By would... the way, a lot of people have said you. Oh, they Just throwing it out there. <laughs> uh, so uh, no pressure. All right, five-a-side. Let's see. We need a striker. I would choose Gonzalo. Okay. Obviously, he is very good at those games and he yeah. scores a lot of goals. I uh, need a good defender. I'd probably go with Macun, okay. Christian Macun, three. Uh, I'll put my, my boy Rodolfo in there, too. Okay. Rodolfo has to be on my team. Okay. And then I need another midfield. I'll, I'll go with Gregor. Okay. That's, a, that's a great five-a-side. I like that. Okay. Balanced. So, Both. Attack and defense. I love it. Um, little disappointing. You never said me. No one said me yet, by the way. <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there. So I'm not coming out of retirement anytime soon. Um, what's your most favorite Inter-Miami game that you've played in thus far? It can be this season or last season. The game this year against Montreal, where we came back, um, I think that was a turning point for our team. Uh, going down a goal and then having the resiliency and the character to come back, tie it, and then win it. I think that, that was pretty special just because of what it meant for our streak that we've been on and the turning point in our season this, this, this year. Okay, this next one kind of throws someone under the bus. You're allowed to skip one, okay? But I still have three more, so okay. you've got to be careful. <laughs> Who hates the gym the most? Ooh. Um, I'll pass in that one. Okay, I'll perfect. Pass. I'll pass. That's your only pass, by the way. Um, <laughs> favorite thing to do off the field? Off the field, just be at home with my son. Um, I love spending time with him. Whether He has a lot of energy, whether it's getting in the pool, playing soccer. He's joining a new team pretty soon, so we're pretty excited about that. Just spend time with him and, and my wife, of course. And he's a good dancer as well. He's a great dancer. Yeah, he's yeah. fabulous. So yeah. you can put him in the mix for best I, dancer I could, at Inter-Miami. I could put him in the mix. Um, so what kind of music do you listen to? What's your favorite kind of genre? I listen to a little bit of everything, uh, reggaeton, uh, banda, mm -hmm. uh, hip hop, rap, country. I listen to a little bit of everything, reggae. A good balance on the field and a good balance off the pitch. Right. I like it. Right. Um, who in the locker room has the best playlist? Like, who do you look to to say, Victor, get your music on? Who is that guy in your locker room? Um, Jay Chapman has usually really good music. The Canadian. The Canadian. Really? Yeah. yeah. Never count us out, guys. <laughs> really? Okay, I've heard, I've heard some other people. So, okay, Jay, that's a good one. Jay okay, and then the, my last one. Hot, you can't skip this one now because you've used your pass. Worst thing about Miami. Worst thing about Miami? Yeah. Uh, the humidity. Humidity. It's Damn. so bad. Terrible. I'm from Dallas and it's hot. Yeah. You know, but oh my gosh, here's just different type of, hits you different. It's like you step outside and you can't breathe. Like you go for a walk with your kid and it's like, you're exhausted. I don't know how you guys train or play in yeah, this. Yeah, I, I don't know either. I, I don't it. know either. Well, thank you again for joining us. I hope these questions weren't too hard. No, they were great. Okay, Thanks. perfect. Well, thank you.